So the primaries are officially over. Both sides have decided their nominee. The convention for the Republicans will be held in a few days, on July 18th through 21st in Cleveland. And the Democrats will have their convention in Philadelphia. Uh, there's been no evidence that Bernie Sanders is going to try any last-minute convention shenanigans, so we should be set in terms of the nominees. Hillary Clinton versus Donald Trump. Ugh, not a good choice to have, but that's a topic for another time. Anyways, the reason I wanted to make this video was because I wanted to ask about the legacy of this election. Now I know what you're thinking. How can we be sure what the legacy of this election will be yet? After all, we don't know how the general election is going to turn out. Donald Trump could win, Hillary Clinton could win, and whoever wins, it's going to be massively different. Now, make no mistake, I think Hillary Clinton would be a better president than Donald Trump, but regardless, it's still uncertain exactly what this election will hold. But I think what we've seen so far can give us a good picture. The 2016 primaries have been unlike any primaries in recent memory. The closest one I can think of would probably be 1968 or 1972, maybe. Anyways, this year saw two insurgent candidates, one successful one, one unsuccessful one, on both sides of the parties, completely defied conventional political wisdom in any way. Bernie Sanders was a man who was an open socialist, who called for single-payer health care, free college tuition. Surely there's no way he could beat the coronated nominee. And he didn't, but it's surprising how close he came, especially given that nobody thought this would be a competitive race at all. So, what do we do now? What do we do now, now that we say that this race is over for the primaries? Well, I think we can say that the establishment that we've gotten used to is not going to hold for much longer. By the establishment, I refer to the general neoliberal consensus that's been in place since 1981, when Reagan began dismantling the New Deal and Bill Clinton and George Bush continued his work. Barack Obama has been somewhat progressive, but he hasn't really disrupted the status quo at all. Wall Street still has an inordinate amount of influence, and with the Citizens United decision, now corporations have influence on our elections as well. This is the neoliberal status quo, one where the minimum wage is purchasing power continues to go down, and one where people do not feel as if they have a voice in the political process. So when someone like Donald Trump or Bernie Sanders comes along and voices what they've been thinking but no politician has been saying, things can get pretty crazy. And that's exactly what happened. So, now that the primaries are over, I think we need to ask ourselves, just how long will the status quo continue? If Hillary Clinton wins the election, which does seem to be the likely possibility, the status quo may persist for a bit longer under a Clinton presidency. But regardless, the sentiments and the feelings and the activism that made the 2016 primaries the stunning contest that it was is not going away, or at least the simmering discontentment that created it isn't. So my question to you guys is, what do you think the legacy of 2016 will be? Will we have a true, genuine, grassroots political movement, or will things go back to business as usual? And if so, for how long? Thanks for listening. Andrew Walker out.